Niggas don't think shit stank the shit hit the fan Niggas don't think shit stank the shit hit the fan Niggas don't think shit stank the shit hit the fan They don't think shit stank the shit hit the fan They never think shit stank the shit hit the fan Niggas don't think shit stank the shit hit the fan Niggas don't think shit stank the shit hit the fan take y'all in to my personal life but before i get into what i want to talk about i like to thank everybody that's been checking out the video still the new subscribers the old subscribers everybody that's been checking me out still i know i haven't been active on youtube lately because you know just just some stuff going on man and i'm still trying to get to that 100 sub mark man so i'm gonna get right into what i, I want to talk about and what i want to talk about is do you believe in second chances and the reason why i'm asking you guys this is because i'm going through you know some relationship stuff you know how it goes i'm pretty sure y'all went through it too but me and this girl i've been dating was with we've been we've been together for 10 months no problems at all just perfect for 10 months until lately about a few days ago okay uh, i was talking to her she wanted to hang out and talk and we was talking for hours and started, you know, you know how females get. They when they did something wrong, they started crying. So I already assumed something was going on. And she told me her ex boyfriend, one of the exes that it took her a while to get over, one of the dudes that, that treated her wrong or some shit. So I guess, you know, she said they hung out. And she said she didn't want, she didn't attempt to, to do anything. She just wanted to hang out and talk to him. But you know how these dudes are. Us dudes know how we can be. <laughs> we know how we can be, man. We can. We can say stuff to females to make them, you know, want to do something. You know how it is, man. I'm pretty sure everybody know what I'm talking about. But I guess he 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 made he made some type of move. I guess he he put himself on her. I guess, and they did it. And the thing I respect is she told me right after she came out and told me she didn't try to hide it. And you know, I know she didn't mean to do it because we was talking for hours. Uh, I was watching a girl cry for like five hours. I mean, me, what she told me, I was I was cool. I was calm. I mean, I was a little mad, but I was calm. You know, I wasn't I wasn't crying or nothing. Or that. I don't really get emotional like that. But at the same time, man, I was pissed off. I ain't gonna lie. And, you know, I don't get why you would hang out with another ex, though, like that. Like, we all know how dudes can get down. We all know. I mean, she clearly told me before that, look at me get blown up. I was salty. I thought I was going to steal that dude's stuff. But she told me when you with somebody and the ex see that, they're trying to ruin it for you. And that's what, and she told me that. And I don't see why she would let dude ruin it for us. I mean, I'm already over it. And I told her, I think we should just, you know, move on, forget about each other, forget it. we ever existed, you know. But I was talking to my older brother and he was like, he respect that she came out and told me right after and then try to keep it a secret so he was like he think i should give her a second chance and she want to get back and work it out i mean like yeah i still got the feelings for her and all that but at the same time man, i don't know man i mean i know everybody i know us humans ain't perfect we all do stuff we all make mistakes i made mistakes in the past and you know i just i'm just gonna think about that and she kind of assumed I was cheating, which I wasn't, because one time we was hanging out, she went through my phone to see I was talking to a female friend, and we got into a little argument about that, because I know I wasn't cheating, I didn't cheat on her with nobody, it was just a female friend, and ever since then, I started taking my phone out the room every time I left the room when I was hanging out with her, because I don't want to go through my phone and tripping and bugging, and see, I'm talking to female friends, she assumed I'm cheating, that made her think I was cheating even more, because it's my phone, it's my conversations, it's personal, a phone's a personal product, man, 
And, you know, ever since then, she thought I was cheating since I take my phone with me. But let me know what you think about this topic. Do you believe in second chances? And what would you do if you was in my situation? Would you let it go or would you move on and, and you know, find somebody else or be single? Because there's more fishes out in the sea, man. I mean, I'm thinking about just going ahead and letting it go. And let me know what you would do. And as always, y'all, thanks for tuning in. Mm-hmm.